Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and uh, this exists. Rock Love Jewelry made a tie-in with Wizards of the Coast, and they made some Magic the Gathering jewelry. And I gotta say, yes, I do think these are cool, but I don't think that the price tags are cool. I mean, I've always kind of thought jewelry was kind of neat as a concept, but I never got into it because, you know, your boy broke. But I don't know, even costume jewelry that you can get for dirt cheap, I'm like, ah, I don't know, do I want some metal stuff jangling around and catching on stuff and, you know... I like to keep it sleek. But also, most people wear jewelry just to show off. Like, look how rich I am. Look, I could afford this, like, right in your face. It's like people who buy Apple products. So as cool as I think I would look if I could really nail it, my knowledge of, you know, matching fashion is just as poor. So never got into it. Plus, like I said, probably saved a lot of money in lifetime not getting into jewelry. But I do think these are cool. Once again, I've said this in, in past videos. Would I recommend buying these? No. Unless you're just unbelievably rich and already got your bases covered than you do you but right now with inflation and just <laughs> climate threats and political threats and rioting threats and crime on the rise and police resigning and an absolute lunatic actual mentally deranged person in the white house this ain't my top priority if i'm making under 100 grand a year let's put it that way but if, if you're rich and you got some guns some ammo some emergency food supplies power generation solar and you're you're all set sure Otherwise, well, this ain't going to be very useful uh, in an emergency situation, which is becoming more and more likely as time goes on. But, Des, emergency situations never happen. Oh, yeah, never. Uh-huh. Perhaps you saw my last video? But anyway, okay, moral rant over. Let's talk about what we got here. We've got the, uh, the, the X... God, this is such a dumb name. Magic the Gathering X Rock Love... Who even uses that terminology anymore? Mox Diamond Necklace. Well, that's the cheapest Mox Diamond you're ever going to own. So the Mana Vault, okay, that's way too big, way too gaudy. That is just a big-ass cube. It's going to be heavy. It's going to be clunking around. It's got corners. Not that the, the Mox Diamond didn't look kind of sharp, but uh, eh, not feeling it. Then we got a Dreidel. Oh, wait, no, it's Sensei's Dividing Top. Great detail, great color, but... Where's the money there? Uh, I'm actually going to check if they say what this is made out of, because if it's what I think, and I actually know a little bit about selling jewelry, believe it or not, I don't see $300 there. Okay, carved in solid sterling silver, featuring a two-toned black rhodium and a uh, genuine rose gold plated finish. Dot, 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 who cares? Yeah, that um should be about 50 not 300 I mean, okay, style, licensing, I'd say limited run, but we'll get to that in a second. Maybe like 120. I mean, you can get a full um, gold-plated dipped rose, like an actual live rose that they dipped in who knows what. I don't know, zinc copper mix and then electroplated with gold. You can buy them for like $79 at a jewelry shop and for like 40 online. I mean, silver, if you had an entire ounce of it, which I guarantee this doesn't weigh, uh, you're looking at like 30 bucks. So, uh, yeah, not really feeling this one. I don't know much about uh, rhodium or two-tone whatever, but I mean, that doesn't strike me as immediately in my brain as, as like one of the most expensive rocks out there. That ain't nothing special on the cut either. Bulk scrap on that chain's like four bucks tops. So anyway, get this. The first 100 limited edition artifacts have been claimed. All following units are now pre-orders. So they, they they ran off 100 to make it ooh super exclusive, but then they're like, well, I guess that, that sold pretty quick. Let's run off more in a second wave, making these not quite as exclusive as you might think. I still don't think there's that many going out, but uh, I am a little surprised that 100 people ordered these. I mean, I could see Magic Pros wanting to wear something kind of like this. You know, if they're on camera, streamers, I could see that. You could almost get away with writing it off as a business expense, to be honest. And it, it would kind of up your street cred, like, oh, look how seriously I take magic. That's one of the times where this type of thing as, like, an image thing would actually work because it's like, that's what you do. That's your job. But for random people, nah, you're just a showy douche. Uh, so next up, we got what, what just looks like some kind of medical instrument or, like, a bottle opener or really elaborate pickle grabber. Maybe get some bratwurst out of the, uh, out of the old uh, boiling pot there i mean i usually like mechanical style things i thought a lot of the art in kaladesh was cool but this is just i'm, I'm not feeling it and 365 that better be some kind of gold fill let's see let's see what they said about this one 
100% sterling silver. Oh, you were waiting for me to mention the diamonds or the gold plated? Nope, it's, it is sterling silver. If you pay $365 for that, you are out of your damn mind. And also, my gosh, do you have poor taste in jewelry? I am calling the fashion police. Okay, I just circled back to the Mox diamond that I assumed was at least like an, a half carat diamond, bare minimum, depending upon quality. Nope, cubic zirconium. You've got a Mox cubic zirconium. With all the counterfeit Mox cards floating around, now Wizards of the Coast is officially endorsing you buying a fake Mox diamond. Oh, you thought that was gold? At least gold fell? At least like 14 karat gold? No. Mm -mm. Gold plated sterling for $365. This just went from like bad deal to like, just from the price standpoint, in my opinion, an outright scam. So next up in this disgraceful lineup, we've got the uh, Pip Medallion Necklace. Nah, dude, even the guy from Great Expectations wouldn't wear this. I don't know why they called it that. I had Great Expectations going into this, but then I read the descriptions. Ooh, carved in solid sterling silver. Well, thank God it's only $250 this time around. Let's see, 20 grams, which is worth approximately not $250. This Pip Medallion necklace features five colorful crystals. Just, that's what they are. Not gemstones, just, just crystals. What type of crystals? There's colored crystals. Oh, did the shipment not come in of anodized aluminum for you to use? Apparently you guys don't give a shit about your materials. Or I should say the materials matching the price. I'd actually be ordering these myself if they were $20. Okay, no joke. Do you guys remember the live stream I did where I was wearing like probably three rings on every finger on average and it was the biggest gaudiest shit you've ever seen in your entire life if you remember that okay i got all of that for like 40 dollars and then we've got the pip signet ring which is a mere 200 dollars. i was gonna say that doesn't make sense this looks like oh no nope, 15 grams Carved in sterling silver. Yes, we get it. You use the cheapest possible components you can. I'm surprised this isn't made out of, like, recycled tin cans. I have bought and sold a lot of jewelry in my life just to make money. Like, fines at estate sales, jewelry lots online, you know, rummage sales. You know, you buy the lot, you check it with the magnet and see what you can get. I've got really sharp eyes for up-close vision. I can read, you know, even pretty small engravings that say what the materials are and that kind of stuff. Just because I don't wear it doesn't mean I don't know it. And I assure you, this is just a repeat of the, the Jace silver token things. Weren't those like $200 or something? Or I don't Did they drop them? I don't even remember. I just remember, I, I don't think they've ever been worth more than people paid for them. Like ever. Because it's made out of silver and it was like one to two ounces. Uh, yeah, New Zealand Mint. Um, look it up. The Jace the Mind Sculptor. Uh, it was like a, a $2 coin, which it, you can call it whatever you want. It's not official currency, even in the country they ran it off in. Wow, they're actually a little more expensive than I thought. I think they were 200 when they went out. Um, you can buy them right now for $120 free shipping on eBay. Well, I should have bought them when they were cheaper. I remember seeing them way below 100 But yeah, I mean, silver's not that expensive. Everybody knows this. Turns out if you give it a uh, certificate and a serial number, still doesn't really do it for most people. And these all, of course, come with that, you know, should point that out. But uh, still, I, it, even having a serialized number, the whole point is that they're only making so many. I, I don't know if they meant to imply that only the first 100 units are limited edition and the rest they make won't have a serial number or something. I don't know. It, they said 100 and then later they say a limited edition of 500. Let me get this straight. You were going to make 500, but ahead of time you made 100, and you said once the first 100 are claimed, the next batch will begin shipping in June. So you were too cheap to actually make the 500, even though none of these use precious gems in any way, and silver is pretty abundant. And oh, one of them's gold-plated. Oh boy, how many microns thick you think that is? I can tell you, with actions like that, this is not a respectable creator of jewelry, or a seller of jewelry. That is unbelievable when even they thought they wouldn't sell the amount that wizards wanted them to run off that's just sad so anyway this last ring says oh my god 
Carved in solid sterling silver, the signature Pip Signet ring features five colorful crystals. They can't even just say little teeny tiny 1 16th carat quartz, which is like worthless. But you can get different colored quartz. No, that was too expensive. These are just crystals of some sort. Encircled by glassy premium black enamel. There is nothing premium about black enamel. What, did you go to the fancy paint store? Ooh, they're using bear paint to enamel it. Wow. Couldn't even slap an onyx on there. Couldn't polish an onyx and inlay it on the on the ring. That was too hard for you. Wow. Ooh, 25 cents worth of onyx was out of the question, guys. Better slap some polymer on there. So you might read the next part that says, Each smooth-domed kabochan, or kabokan, because it's French, it's probably a silent H, I'm not sure, is set in the signature formation of the card back. Yeah, we get it. We know what it is. It's the color pie, whatever. Deal with it. You might think, oh, oh, that, that sounds fancy. What type of rock is a, is a kebokan? It's a term for literally any type of gemstone, which has been shaped and polished as opposed to faceted. So they didn't want to cut it because, you know, that takes talent and money, not to mention a proper base stone. Uh, so you just kind of polish it round. So it does say that... Um, the Magic the Gathering X Rock Loves Jewelry Design is an open edition. I don't know what that means, but then they say uh, every piece arrives in signature Magic the Gathering X Rock Loves collector's dice box. Okay, well, they're not dice, so okay. Um, with black exterior and mythic orange interior, uh, the box flap opens to reveal a slide-out compartment, a graphic wrapped with an authentic stack of magic cards. Oh, you want a picture of this? you must be a real gem pun intended if they aren't willing to actually show a picture of it on any of these they do have a picture of some of these in front of some orange fabric but i it, it just looks way too big to be the holder for it so uh, i don't know so the jewelry nestles within branded soft black flocking and includes an additional black fabric drawstring travel satchel with silk screen logos a compelling addition to any display case yeah, if anybody sees one of these anywhere at any FM in your backpack, uh, now that they all look the same and they're very identifiable, they are snatching it. So then you can lose your jewelry and your dice, apparently, because apparently it's a dice box. So yeah, uh, don't buy this. It's not a good value. Resale value is nothing. In fact, if you're, if you're going to buy it, just wait a month and then buy it on eBay from uh, some regretful person. These prices are beyond ridiculous. I mean, I'd be saying that's a little high if they were 80 based on the materials, but I'd be like, well, you get the box, you get the presentation thing. It's all made in China. Who gives a crap? Probably, I would assume. Yeah, it's branded. Yes, it's licensed. Yes, it's technically sort of limited, but I mean, come on. They knew how much they were going to sell. Oh, and uh, they really hype up the uh, certificate of authenticity with the cereal that matches the, uh, you know, the piece or whatever. I'm super confident with how this company apparently does business and chooses their materials that um, that card will have microprinting, holograms, and watermarks all over it. Mm -hmm. It definitely won't just be a laser jet job on nice paper. So yeah, I mean, what more is there to say? This is egregiously priced. Anybody who buys this is a moron. From a magic standpoint, okay, you do you. There's never been anything like this that I've ever heard of. But, like, my gosh, from a jewelry standpoint, these prices are batshit crazy. They'd be high even if these were made out of solid gold. When they can't even throw a damn quartz crystal in. I mean, it's just a big old rock of quartz inside of that Mox Diamond. I mean, okay, when it's that big and it's central, maybe you would use a cubic instead of a quartz. But, like... The Signet Pips? I mean, what what are they? They could be synthetic. I mean, this is ridiculous. I did not know it would be this bad before looking into it in case you <laughs> sensed a little bit of a tonal shift in this video. Holy shit. I am disgusted and I am getting out of here. See you guys next video.